Hi folks, Dr. Bob McCauley. This is part six of my summary of my new book, The Cure in the Mirror, Nature's Protocol for Surviving Cancer. Don't forget to subscribe, smash that like button, and share this video so that the whole world knows that the body is capable of healing itself of any disease, including cancer. And I'm up to page 165. We're talking about serapeptase, a systemic enzyme. And um, it removes, it relieves inflammation in the body. Inflammation is a killer. It just doesn't allow your body to function as it, sh as it, as it really wants to. So you always want to reduce inflammation. There's chronic and there's uh, inflammation and then there's silent inflammation. In ways, silent is really a lot more deadly because you don't even know it's there. So serapeptase and menstrual cramp relief, uh, very good for menstrual cr cramps. Uh, take, again, got to take it in an empty stomach. It's got to get down to the lower GI so it can get into the bloodstream. Uh, prostate health, same thing, serapeptase and prostate health. Uh, really good for, you know, men, you know, have to go to the bathroom 10 times a night when they start turning 50 and 67 years old. It's because that prostate has become swollen, so you want to reduce that inflammation. But this is what we really want to do is take these systemic enzymes, reduce inflammation throughout the body, and along with fiber or fibrin, and what that is is, you know, fibers that get throughout the body. We need to remove those. They kind of clog up everything. So natokinase um, is the next one, the king of systemic enzymes. Well, there's really two that I really focus on, serapeptase and natokinase. Nato, natokinase comes from natto or soy. I don't promote soy, so it's, there's no soy in it or anything, but that's where we derive it from originally. And it is an amazing systemic enzyme, and I take it every single day. It's great for lung health. Um, it does a whole bunch of things. You can look into that natokinase, but lung health is is one of the big ones because it removes fibrin, which is fibers. So, uh, if you're looking for any kind of relief there, that's what you want to take. Is natokinase for the lungs? Tough to heal the lungs, I'll tell you that. Next is a toxic chemical cleanse. So we've killed everything in the digestive tract all the infectious agents, uh, bacteria, viruses, yeast, mold, and fungus. And now we gotta get the inert things, which are the toxins. So we're gonna remove those from the body. So we gotta get all the stuff out of the body that don't belong there. And uh, you know, that's what a toxin is. So this is a, an inert chemical cleanse uh, or a toxin cleanse or a poison cleanse. You gotta get that out of there because that's where the, really the source of all disease is. So uh, in fact, you're toxic. Don't tell that to the medical industry. They'll laugh at you. Um, next is uh, radiation removal, how to remove radiation from the body. I have a protocol for that. Um, you know, where do you get radiation? Well, cancer treatment. <laughs> you know, that's, that's a good cause of, uh, or a good source of radiation. There's a lot of places you can get it, but uh, that's, uh, that's, that's, that's got to be removed from the body. Uh, I talk about upstream and downstream cleansing really br briefly. So upstream is anything you put into your mouth. Downstream is any kind of, uh, of enema you give it, so yourself, to, your, uh, to yourself, so you're cleansing the, the bowels um, from the bottom. That's very, very effective. Um, so I talk about that uh, very briefly. Uh, Dr. Bob's detox formula, I have a formula that has um, a whole bunch of things, chlorella and brown seaweed extract and fulvic acid. These are all meant to, shilajit is in there. These are meant to grab on to, in different ways, grab on to toxins and remove them from the body. Then I talk about downstream cleansing after that. Again, the, this is when you, you give yourself an enema and you're cl cleansing the bowels. Uh, coffee enemas are really good uh, enema. I go through all the different types of enemas, but coffee enema is good because it relaxes the bowels allows you to go to the bathroom. It also stimulates the liver and the, and the gallbladder so that you're continually also re relieving and re releasing a lot of toxins so they, they can be you know taken out of the body. Um, these foods are killing you. That's next. These foods, well, I go through the li list. Um, top of my list goes fast food, processed food, fried foods of any kind. That's really a killer. Uh, change your thinking. Uh, you really have to change your thinking on everything. I mean, you got to change the way you look at health, the way you look at food. And, you know, like, I mean, processed foods are not foods. They're just substances that taste like foods and they give us some kind of nutrition. Really, it's just calories that keep you going a few more days. It's really not food. Um, but you got to change your thinking about that. Next one is the, uh, the microwave electric death box, as I call it. This is a really bad thing. I don't own one. I haven't for years. What microwaving does to food is really criminal. 
uh, process and refined foods, um, same thing. These, these are really some really, really weird things that they do to natural substances and then they turn them into things that taste good and people eat them. Uh, that's what a Dorito is, uh, that's what a cheese puff is. I mean, they're just bizarre substances and we eat them and they taste good. Um, next is poisonous sugar. I talk a lot about sugar because sugar really is, uh, is a, causes overgrowth in the body and, and really has a very detrimental effect on the, on the body. Sugar and chromium, if you eat a lot of sugar, you're gonna have a chromium deficiency. Uh, that's for sure. Fried foods equal death. I do talk about fried foods a lot. Fried foods are really, really bad for you. They are consumed all over the world. It's not just like we have fried foods here or fried foods in the south or anything like that. Everybody loves fried foods and I love fried foods. If you eat, if you like f eat foods, if you fry them, they taste fantastic, but it's poison and it's killing you and you've got cancer because, because of it or someone you know has cancer. And then the yeast, fungus, infectious infections and the sugar connection because that's what it does it causes a lot of overgrowth in the body avoid sugar and go with your sweeteners stevia is one of them and there's several others that are out there but go for your sweeteners they just uh, make the brain think you're drink you're taking something sweet when it really is not sugar next chapter is of course slow me down soy and that's what soy is really it just slows you down it it's just it's got phytohemoglutin which is phg uh, you know it's blood glue phytohemo hemogluten gluten is glue uh, it just really slows everything down it's a terrible food it's it's only good in emergency situations avoid soy um, protein kings uh, well, spirulina and chlorella are the greatest, great, uh, greatest forms of protein that are out there. There's other plant-based proteins. The whole uh, idea of plant-based proteins has become very, very popular re re recently. And that's what we need to do. I mean, I became a vegetarian over 40 years ago, 40 years ago now. Um, you know, I had to find, like, where am I going to get my soy? So I, I learned all these other sources of it. And spirulina and chlorella are the kings of protein. 60% protein compared to just like 15 to 18% for meat as an example. Uh, the northern source of your food. Very few people really know where their food comes from other than, hey, it comes out of a box. You know, it came from this company over here. Um, you know, you got to do better than that. I know where 80% of my food comes from exactly. It's, you know, it comes from my backyard during the summer. And then I do a lot of sprouting during the winter. So know the source of your food. Know where it's coming from. If you just see something in a box, you don't know where that stuff came from. Same even in a restaurant. You don't know what they're doing back there. And you don't know where that food came from. And there's good restaurants and bad. It's not to, I go to restaurants myself all the time. I just have salads when I go, though. You got to find a restaurant. For me, a guy like me, got to find a restaurant with a good salad, let me tell you. Um, you know, living foods, uh, the only foods we should eat. Okay, that's the raw food diet, and that we're going to talk about that and what I really call the raw food diet. But the living foods or fresh foods or foods that have not been cooked are the only foods we actually should eat. Um, and proof of the vegetarian diet and, um, you know, why it's, you know, most of the animals we eat, uh, you know, um, are vegetarians. Um, in fact, I don't know any of their carnivores. Um, you know, you know, look at a cow. I mean, or a bull. You look how big a bull is. I mean, we don't usually eat the bull, but I mean, yeah, that's just you know, or a chimpanzee, much stronger than a man, four times stronger than a man. So, um, you know, I mean, and they're vegetarians. They're all vegetarians. So, anyway, um, if you want to read the best book on that, I think is the China Study. Um, and that really showed how the vegetarian diet was superior all in the world, every, all over the world where it was tried. Um, living foods, I'm sorry, uh, vibration, vibration, vibration. That's the next one. Uh, it's all about vibration. So if you cook your food, it's going to have a very low vibration. You look at a raw fruit and vegetable of any kind, it's going to have a very high vibration. You know, iodine, as an example, has the highest vibration of any uh, mineral that we re require. So it's very high, uh, high vibration um, uh, mineral. So it's all about vibration. The vibration of what you put into your body will end up, you know, uh, allowing, you know, making you vibrate at that, at that frequency. Well, I put raw fruits and vegetables in my body, so I, I, I vibrate, my body vibrates at a very high frequency. Next one is vibration of cancer versus the vibration of life or the vibration of cancer is low i can assure you that the vibration of life raw fruits and vegetables is very very high when you got cancer i mean you're dying all you all your life force is being taken away it's been it's being consumed by uh you know not indirectly by the cancer 
and um, you're going to have a very low vibration, whereas if you're a very healthy person, a very young person, you're in great health, you're going to have, have a very high bright vibration. And I mean, uh, you know, you got to be able to measure that. Well, we don't have a re really a way of measuring that, um, uh, but, uh, you know, directly, but you can, believe me when I tell you, you can, you can measure the, the vibration of, of inner things and, 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 and living things such as raw fruits and vegetables. You see, they're totally different. Last, I'm going to say here for this little video, the raw food cure. So we talk about the raw food diet, and that's a diet of raw fruits and vegetables. Well, really what they do is they cure the body. Um, I hate to call the raw food, you know, diet, the raw food diet, because it sounds like another fad diet. You know, you've got the South Beast diet and the keto diet and the Atkins diet and this diet and, you know, the... the the, the diet for life diet. I mean, all these diets out there, and they're, they're the number one big best-selling books and you know of, of health books. If you want to call them healthy, most of these diets are ridiculous. But you know, I just you know it's the raw food cure. So I don't want to call it a diet because it just mis misleads you. I'm on a raw food diet, um, and I've been eating this way for over 20 years now. It's the healthiest way to live. You got to make sure you get your protein, the spirulina and chlorella, and the nutritional background brown or back backbone or that foundation I talk, talk about so much you got to have that in your diet and if you do then you'll you'll have incredible health so um, anyway that's the raw food cure I'm gonna leave it there and we'll come continue on with this really we're kind of getting there maybe one or two more of these videos and we'll cover the entire book it is detailed and this book uh, the cure in the mirror nature's protocol for surviving cancer let me tell you something. You read this book and you follow my, my protocol and great health will return to your body and your body can cure itself of any disease, even cancer. Dr. Bob, I'll see you next time.